My name's Victoria Henry. I'm a vet at Mandeville Veterinary Hospital. My name is Julian Wells. I'm one of five postgraduate deans. I'm Jeremy Stewart. I'm the head vet and regional manager at the Mandeville Veterinary Hospital and I'm responsible for their PDP training. I'm looking after the PDP or professional development phase on behalf of the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons. The PDP helped to take me from being a new graduate through my first year in practice. PDP is a, a period of supervised practice where graduates move from their day one competence that they've all been provided with at university to their year one competence, which is really the practical application of these core skills that they need to, to drive their practice life. It's a massive transition coming out of, um, of vet school and going into to a practice. You suddenly have all the responsibility. It's sort of all on you then and um, here I felt really supported. There's been lots of people that I can ask. They're all really, really um, sort of keen to help and teach. So I think that the PDP has really filled that gap so that they, uh, they, they can see where they move from these day one competencies to the year one competencies. When graduates go into practice, it's a really different world between the very structured period of study at university and the much freer environment of, of practice life. It does seem rather bizarre to take somebody out of university and expect them to be an experienced vet overnight. So a period of supervised structured learning seems the right thing to do to give public confidence in the profession. It gave you sort of um, goalposts to work towards and it also flagged up areas that you didn't have much practice in and it helps you to sort of reflect on what you've been doing and assess yourself in a way. When I recruit a graduate I know that I'm going to be able to see them develop and that they're able to benchmark themselves against their colleagues. They know, we know where they should be at the end of that year. It's very much um, an on-demand service we are monitoring the lists of skills, but we're really there to be available to solve any problems as an element of pastoral support. It's really easy to be honest. You log on, you've got a very simple username and password, um, and it takes you straight to a page which has all of the targets and the list of things that you need to be logging. I think it's much easier if you do it as you go along. If you do it on, say, a weekly basis, I'd do it on a Sunday afternoon and i just sit down and say, right, I had that interesting um, cardiac case this week. And you just write some notes about it. And um, it probably took 20 minutes a week, I'd say. From my point of view, there's not really a, a huge amount of extra time that is needed to go into supporting um, a graduate who is going through the PDP process. Um, Really, it's all part of the, sort of the the development of a member of staff. It's not onerous from a time point of view, it's actually a very useful tool to have. So the benefits of PDP are, it does give you a boost even though you might be feeling sort of stressed and bogged down at work, at least you can go back to that and say, okay, well actually I'm not doing too badly, and actually you have done more than you think you have. We do want vets that can think for themselves, that's very important. They're going to be on their own in the consulting room. It is important that for a period of time they have somebody to turn to. The benefit to the practice as a whole is that we are able to recruit hugely enthusiastic, very well trained, very smart people to the practice. As graduates have, have done their own PDP, they've started to understand the mentoring role in practice and can provide that for new graduates as they go through their own practicing career. Mm -hmm.